think, um, I mean, it's just a hybrid style that I, um, that I do. You know, I really wanted to be a filmmaker, and I had a lot of kind of big imaginative ideas about what I wanted to do with film. And I think that um, in some ways the music that I'm doing is kind of being fed by those early dreams of uh, kind of very imaginative, uh, fantastic storytelling. So um, it's, it's hard to define the music. It's, it's uh, hybrid fantasy uh, excursions. Ça m'a fait penser à, à, à un énorme compositeur de Madrigo, que c'est Gesualdo da Venosa. Parce qu'il y a dans, dans la façon de traiter la musique de Fredo, il y a une componente sacrée, païenne, de contes de fées, et, et beaucoup d'alchimie. Il y a quelque chose voilà, de, de la Renaissance, mais très contemporaine. Et je me suis dit que ce serait très intéressant de développer euh, voilà, cette, sur scène euh, cette côté, euh, ce contraste entre son côté de la musique qui est si légère, vocale, euh, une sorte de, de polyphonie vocale comme les madrigaux justement, et une contemporanéité d'un homme d'aujourd'hui de New York avec son laptop, euh, avec euh, ses petites euh, vidéos itinérés qui, euh, qui, 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 qui reproduisent son visage, des petits paysages. Et donc je me suis, euh, suis approché à son univers visuel parce que j'ai trouvé qu'il avait quelque chose comme une, comme une erreur de famille, comme quelque chose euh, où je me sentais à l'aise. I do a lot of, um, I, I often will just try and, um, like every day I'll spend an hour just harmonizing and, and improvising. Um, different intervals and things like that. And sometimes interesting uh, ideas will come out of that. But the best ideas come when I'm doing something, you know, like I'm going to get cat food or something like that. And suddenly an idea will just come out of the blue. And you have to be ready to, to, to capture those ideas. I mean, I think, I think um, when you try to do something successful, you're never going to succeed. It's always when the, it comes from the instinct. It just comes up out of the natural place that... Uh, um, you have to open your ears to that. There's something nice about the contrast of, of, of mechanical repetition plus the bit of chaos that comes when you're just taking something very, very live, which is why when I do the videos, I, I never use a tripod. I mean, I do if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm in front of the camera. There's no way not to use a tripod. But um, if I'm holding the camera, I, I like to have the, my footsteps, you know, because it's, it's the bit that's not mechanical. It's the non-calculated part that... Uh, contrasts really nicely with the repetition, you know?
The visual aspects of where I sing that means very little to me. It's really more about the sound of the place. And I like to find a space that has a lot of reverberation because it's the way you can really hear your voice after you sing. You know, it reverberates. And uh, um, there's something really nice about stairwells, empty stairwells. I don't know why. I love, um, I mean, of course I know why, because it sounds beautiful in a stairwell, you know. Um, but there's something about the a uh, little bit of um, loneliness as well. That's that's uh, that's really pretty. It just feels it feels uh, humble. It feels uh, um, low pressure. You know, it's nice. Down. 